have a couple of days left to prepare for Halloween, and safety should be a top priority. Kimberly Hess is the executive director at the Center for Childhood Safety. She has some tips on staying safe, especially in the dark. Good morning, Kimberly. Good morning. Perfect time to talk to you about this because it's still dark outside this morning. Uh, let's talk yeah. about keeping our kids safe when they're out trick-or-treating uh, when the sun goes down. Absolutely. Um, obviously, anything reflective or anything that wears lights from reflective bags um, so your kids can be seen. Um, anything that lights up from Halloween gear that light up to reflective bla bracelets, glow bracelets, um, anything that you can wear that um, people can see. One thing that I like that we have at the Center for Childhood Safety are reflective lights that do flash. So that way it is a changing light for um, drivers to see kids. And people can come by you to get those? Um, we do have them in our office or you can see them. Um, a lot of the stores like um, big box stores have them as well that you could go purchase them. Um, just probably the most common is the glow lights, glow wands, anything like that. Yeah, because you could just wear those too and you wouldn't have to worry about handling them. Either attach uh, the blinking lights or put the glow sticks, glow bracelets, glow necklaces, whatever on. Uh, what about parents? Exactly. Should they like carry flashlights? Is that a good idea? Is that overkill? No, it's not overkill. Flashlights, absolutely. I think um, the, be the more the better, especially in a neighborhood like where we're at. There aren't any street lights. Um, house lights are pretty dim. There aren't any sidewalks. So anything you can do to help be seen by the drivers is great. Uh, any other safety tips you want to share with us right now? Um, I would just say, you know, make sure you're out with your kids and you know where you're going and you're familiar with the neighborhood and just um, let your kids be seen with lots of lights and glow sticks and keep them safe. All right, well, Kimberly, thank you so much. I know we're going to be chatting with you all morning long with other safety tips for our little trick-or-treaters this Halloween.